going to see Hamilton soon, right? When are you off to see it? Yeah, this weekend. I'm this seeing weekend. it for the 27th time. 27th time. time. That's uh, 27 Cheap. times. That's correct, Seth. And uh, have, have you felt any dips in your 27 times, or have you had the same reaction pretty much consistently through it? Well, I cry every time. Okay, you know? yeah. Uh, I, what I, at first was in the, at the public. I went to see it at the public, and I was just devastated by it. How, so for those who don't know, because now obviously it's on Broadway in a giant theater, how small is the public? How many seats was it then? Oh, probably it's like under 500 for yeah. sure. I mean, you know, it's maybe the size of this. What is this, 200 here? Yeah, this is about 200. Yeah, so it's probably, it's almost maybe the size. That's pretty much wow, it. Wow, that's amazing. To see it's, a show that now has this scope and scale and also sort of this worldwide phenomenon, to see it in such a small place must yeah, be Yeah, the public has done amazing things. Yeah. That, like the chorus line started there. Uh -huh. and, um, I hope that's right. All the Broadway trivia people are like, you asshole, send! You know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did. Lots of things start at the public. Joe Papp is a hero. Okay. <sighs> Do you see I'm a little edgy? Yeah. I spend like pretty much 90% of my waking hours tweeting hatred towards this administration. Yeah, well, now I want to ask you about this because yeah. uh, that is a two-way street because yeah. Donald Trump has been uh, has been mad at you for a very long time. Over a decade, Seth. Over a decade. Yes. And did it sort of start? It started from The View, yes? The View. Yeah. And it's been really, we were, we've sort of made the joke on the show that he's flip-flopped on everything except you. It's actually very true. Yeah. You know, there was a, a Tara O'Connor, I believe her name was, a young Irish lass who was junior Miss Trump Atlantic City pageant sexist winner. And uh, she was downtown, 19-year-old girl, drinking and kissing a girl. And it was on the cover of the Post. So he held a press conference right before The View went on live. And he said, I uh, just, uh, just want you to know I've forgiven her. And uh, this young woman, I'm like, what is he, the pimp? And she's the <laughs> prostitute? And who is he? He's the moral arbiter of 20-year-old behavior now, right? right? So then I, I said, you know, some facts that I just went on Wiki that uh -huh. were easily accessible since this campaign began that he is bankrupt four times, that he got all his money from his father, and that he notoriously cheats private contractors out of their money. Yes, and that is all simple pretty facts, well documented. Simple facts, yeah. simple facts. And so you said this on The View. And he went bat crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and stayed that way. Stayed that way. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, as bad as everyone feels, and they have felt since November 8th, I know for me, I've been in a severe depression, although I'd like to say, today after your show, I'm going to get a Bob Mueller tattoo. Oh, that's exciting. Because I love him. Where are you going to put it? Have you thought about where you're going to put it? Right over my heart. <laughs> I'm so in love with Bob Mueller. I want to get posters. I want to meet him. Yeah. I like, I just think he, he is it. He doesn't, I, I will, I, I'm not, uh, I don't want to judge Bob Mueller. He looks like a very severe man. Like you a, think? Yeah, he, you know, he No, looks... he looks to me like Superman. <laughs> like Captain America, like justice has finally arrived back on our shores, and we are going to right ourselves again. I, Is that too much? I will say that if, um, if he gets, if Trump gets indicted, it would be really great if Mueller let you serve the papers. Well, I feel like... I have put in that request by tweet. Yeah. And um, I'm waiting to hear, but, you know, nothing really will... I have to say, as a 55-year-old woman who lived through Vietnam, you know, mm -hmm. when I was in 1973, my mom died, and two months later, they started the Watergate hearings. And I remember as a child feeling, wow, there's no safety in my house, and look, there's no safety in the world. And all of that came right up when he, you know, first of all, when he announced, I was, like, laughing my ass off. Same here. He I've was been on wrong. that little I, yep. escalator down uh -huh. with the fake crowd going, <laughs> like, here's my wife who loves me, and she's like, how do I get out of here? Yeah. You know, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, I just thought it would never happen. Same here. So I've I been wrong at every turn. I said to my therapist, you know, I got this new show, Smilf, but I have to go to Boston to start shooting the day after the election. Do you think it's going to be okay for me to be there? Or what if he wins? She's like, Rosie, you really have to start working on your negative loop in your brain. <laughs> he is not going to win. Every smart person knows he is not going to win. That night, I was like, listen, you wench. <laughs> I am here and I have no Zedek! <laughs> Mommy's better okay. since Bob Mueller <laughs> last Friday. I love you, Bob. Keep doing what you do, Bob. We love you.
I'm very happy to have you back here. Always a pleasure to talk to you. And I really hope that, uh, based on what you said tonight, you managed to get one more tweet out of the president. So I hope I do, Seth. Yeah. And I want to say honestly very quickly, because I know it's annoying when people compliment the host. What you have been doing has really lifted my spirits. When I have felt submerged under the ice, I turn you on and I go, look at that smart man speaking common sense, making people laugh and making us believe again. So you are a lot. It means a lot coming from you. Such a pleasure to have you here.